Hello everyone, I'm Liu Jinjie and I'll be sharing my Eureka journey for the last two months. This is me, Emma Former. My name is Liu Jinjie and I'm currently a material science and engineering student. A year two, in fact, in Nanyang Technological University. And I'm from Malaysia. Before presenting my research background and also my purpose, let me share with you some of my backgrounds to link everything up. Right after I finished my pre-university exams, Sijia Tinggi Persekolah Malaysia, or more famously known as SDPM in Malaysia, was very lost and not sure what was I going to do for my degree. However, I had a dream. I want to make changes to the world, so I aim further and put my expectations higher. I started to do some research on, on overseas universities to seek for a better opportunity. My family was very supportive to me, even though they may not be able to back me up financially. That was when material science caught my attention. The more I look into it, the more it interests me with its immense possibility to change the world. Nanyang Technological University in Singapore is the perfect place for me to pursue my dream. It offers the best MSc course in the world while being nearby to my country. Fortunately, NTU Singapore not only accepted me as an MSc student, but it also offered me the ASEAN scholarships after a series of applications and interviews via the online platform. Being a freshman in the School of Material Science in NTU is very interesting to me. Aside from its fascinating landscapes and building design, despite the fact that NTU is mostly hills. I've experienced wonderful university life. There were a lot of varieties of student activities around the campus before the COVID-19 period, of course. For example, the events such as celebrations of the festivals of different races, nature, nature theme exhibitions, and movie t movies in lecture theatres, just to name a few. They are held throughout the academic semesters. On top of that, the School of Material Science and Engineering also regularly offers some talks regarding material science from different professors across the world. This is to keep the students, both undergraduates and postgraduates, updated on the latest findings in the field. Besides that, I've also met a lot of friends. It broadens my social circle. We went to lectures together, eat together, rent together, and study together. The moment when I thought everything is too perfect for me, it gets even better in my year two of studies. I was offered to join a research program called Eureka, which stands for undergraduate research experience on campus. It's a program to enrich student, to enrich student learning by helping them embark on a journey of conducting first-hand research. Before deciding which research topics to apply, I was impressed by the findings of Professor Chu Namju. Professor Subhash Suresh and Assistant Professor Song Juha on a paper-like material derived from Poland that might potentially replace plastics. This advertisement was displayed on every single television in NTU for a couple of weeks. It was really impressive yet underrated because some of my friends didn't even notice this news when I talked to them about this. Just in case you have never seen it before, Let's have a quick view on it. NTU scientists have made a pollen-based paper that bends and moves in response to changes in humidity. The first step was to transform tough pollen grains from sunflowers into a gel-like material by removing the sticky oil-based pollen cement layer. 
extracting the pollen shells and incubating the pollen under alkaline conditions. The resulting soft microgel particles were cast into a mold and left to dry, forming a paper-like material. The scientists found that the pollen paper's top layer was significantly rougher than the bottom layer. This structural difference causes the paper to bend in humid conditions and to unbend when it's dry. Rather than using plastic materials which have uh, environmental issues and problems, this points to future possibilities of creating environmentally friendly materials from nature. This property may make it a useful natural component in a wide range of applications. One day, these components may even be digitally printed to order. NTU I mean, if it is able to replace plastics, this definitely could be the Nobel Prize worthy research when it's matured enough to be industrialized. Imagine the impact this material can bring to the world. And guess what? I'm this lucky enough to join the Engineering in Translation and Science ETS undergraduate research team and the Prof Chu together with five other students. One of the members of Prof teams, Mr. Mohammad Sharuddin bin Ibrahim is assigned to be our mentor for our projects. So next, I'll be sharing my Eureka project titled Replacing Plastics, Evaluating Food Contamination from Plastic Container. Plastics are defined as a wide range of synthetic and semi-synthetic materials that are used in huge and growing range of applications. They are typically amorphous materials and do not biodegrade. In 2016, 11 million metric tons of plastics are leaked into the oceans. The plastics that are going into the ocean are projected to be tripled by 2040. This is mainly due to the low cost production, as well as the high consumption of plastics by humans. Plastics are literally everywhere around us. Cutting down its consumption even by a low percentage is going to be beneficial to the earth. Since plastics are this widely used, it is important to know how well they are against the harsh conditions. It's known that microplastics leakage are the are one of the main consequences derived from the plastic pollution, which are due to several sources, such as tire dust, textiles, personal care products, and pallets. My study aims at finding out the contamination by our frequently used plastic materials in food industry. It is significant to know how the different types of plastics around us break down under different conditions to ensure the safety of the products we use daily, especially when it comes to food that we are consuming. The results of the findings may help to further emphasize the importance of replacing plastics to mankind in food industry. The plan is to test plastics like polystyrene and polypropene under different temperature and different pH conditions. By setting up a control set of experiments, I can deduce how much plastics particles are given out through the experiment. With the data obtained, I can conduct analysis on it and come up with a conclusion for the safetyness of these plastics. Moving on, I'll be sharing some of my personal thoughts in this Eureka. First of all, I faced a lot of problems throughout the experiment. I'm very glad that we could work as a team when it comes to planning and discussion. Me, Jingxiang, and Cheyun often discuss our projects together because we are more or less doing the same stuff, which is to run tests on the current available plastics. Furthermore, Professor Chu, our mentor, as well as other members, of the ETS research team are always there to assist us whenever we face issues. Be it on 
the apparatus, the procedures, or the data analysis. Personally, I find NTU to be a very conducive environment for studies and for academic research. The digitized, the digitalized libraries come in handy when it comes to preparing papers, or maybe just a need of some extra reading materials. Besides that, NTU also provides the online database where it allows the users to access to the research papers that are available on the other websites. Top of that, the lab apparatus is easily accessible even for undergraduates. This certainly flourishes my undergraduate's research experience as I get to try out the latest technology or even to see how they work or look like in the School of Material Science and Engineering. It has been two months for me in this Eureka journey. All the trials and errors are the most precious experience to my research. I've learned so much from it, from how to dealing with details, to think critically and analytically on our experiment procedures, as well as the data of the experiment. For ending the presentation, I would like to thank NTU, Prof Chu, and our ETS research team for giving me this opportunity to express my ideas and thoughts. This will wrap up my sharing of my Eureka experience. Thank you. <laughs>